Want to crush it on Black Friday and Cyber Monday? Here's how to set up killer discounts on Walmart. So if we dive in, Walmart did set us this official email that says Black Friday deals. Hello, our second deals event of the season begins November 25th. This is how you can apply pretty much. Here's your handy little checklist. This is what you need to do. Offer promo pricing. Keep your offers competitive with the repricer. Utilize Walmart WFS. Amplify your products with sponsored search. And then use search engine marketing, also called SEM ads. So this is pretty much how you can enroll. There's not a special way to enroll, but this is what, Am what Walmart is saying to do. So the first thing that you're going to do is log into your Walmart seller account. You're going to go to the pricing tool and you're going to go to promotions. Then you're going to click create a promotion. Once you're here, it's going to be a strike through promotion. So it's actually going to have a little X on your price and you can put the name, you can put like Black Friday, the discount value, and then Walmart is saying to do at least 10%. So you can do 10% off. They're saying with at least 10% discount. And this may help you be eligible to show up for all the Black Friday deals. But I'm just gonna do 15%. You can do the start date and then the end date. Let's just say Black Friday is saying you start on the 25th. We'll do the end date is going to be the 30th, just in case. Start time, I'm gonna do it as early as possible. Let's do like 12.30 a.m. We're gonna click create promotion. Up oh, end time. I'll do as late as you can. Now the promotion has been created successfully and then all you have to do next is add your products. So you assign your items and then you'll see if there's any errors and then you're good to go. So this is Walmart's number one recommendation. Number two is utilizing the repricer. The repricer is just if you have a lot of competitors on your item. So to access the repricer, it's gonna to go to pricing and you go to repricer and you can make sure that you're staying competitive and Walmart's changing your pricing so you can show you're winning the buy box. Number three is going to be Walmart Fulfillment Services. Now, Walmart Fulfillment Services are one of the best ways to increase your sales, so you definitely should be doing this. As you can see, some of the items right now are seller fulfilled still, but some of our items are Walmart fulfilled. So to get the Walmart fulfilled, you can just click right here, click right here and click fulfill with WFS right here. So you can fulfill it with WFS and you're gonna convert it to a WFS listing. Once it's converted, it's going to say WFS eligible. Then you're gonna to go to your WFS tab. You're gonna type in the SKU and then you can ship the items in. Once Walmart receives the item, they automatically convert it to Walmart fulfilled. This is definitely going to increase your sales. And then the next one is going to be sponsored search ads. To access sponsored search ads, you're gonna to go to advertising, and then you're gonna click start advertising, and then you can start those types of ads. The next one is going to be SEM ads, which is the last thing that they recommend. And all you have to do to access this is to go to the growth tab, and there it is, search engine marketing, right here. You're going to click that, and then you can run SEM ads. And that's it for today's video. If you learned something new, drop a like. If you are a Walmart seller, I highly recommend you subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with the newest trends and ideas to increase your sales. I'm Josh Hackett, CEO of EHP Consulting Group. And if you need any help on Walmart, contact us in the description below. This is what we specialize in. I'm signing out.